Cash is a slang term sometimes used to describe serving food. Well, one local restaurant chain takes the term so seriously it has hash in its name. Well, as 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears now shows us, there's something else a hash house of go go need to take seriously. It's roach problem and its appearance on tonight's Dirty Dining. Usually on Dirty Dining, we walk in, camera rolling to ask a restaurant about its bad health inspection. But when a restaurant is tucked inside a hotel, casino security won't let us do that. We asked Hash House Agogo Go here at the plaza to let us in, but they would not, and they didn't want to answer any questions on camera. The plaza's marquee says always a good gamble, but you might be gambling with your health by eating there. For the second time in recent weeks, a plaza hotel restaurant is on dirty dining. First, it was McDonald's and now Hash House Agogo, Go, shut down for an imminent health hazard on October 24th. The multi-generational cockroach infestation at Hash House Agogo Go was so pervasive that inspectors personally counted more than 50 German roaches on the hotline and in the back prep area. Pest control records indicate an ongoing presence of cockroaches, as well as many holes that needed to be sealed and excessive grease buildup throughout the facility that needed to be cleaned up. Owner Jim Nyberg said over the phone that he was not happy about the inspection and that it's not the bar of excellence they strive to put forth. He says restaurant leadership was aware of the roach issue but clearly didn't do enough about it. He's satisfied that everything is now corrected due to increased treatments, cleaning and repairs. They've also stepped up employee training after inspectors documented violations for improper hand washing, meats at unsafe temperatures and fruits and vegetables including avocados and asparagus that were not being washed before being prepped. Hash House Agogo -Go was back to a zero demerit A grade on October 25th. The highest demerits went to a food truck, Tacos La Chata, which was shut down due to two imminent health hazards, but also got 37 demerits on October 23rd. The hazards were no water and inadequate refrigeration. Despite having no water for hand washing, the person in charge was preparing tacos with bare hands, claiming not to have any disposable gloves on the truck. Tacos La Chata was also selling food that had been made in someone's house, including refried beans, all their salsas, and cooked rice. The truck is still closed. The restaurant with the highest demerits was Flour and Barley at The Link. It got a 32 demerit C grade on October 22nd. Food at the pizza station and chicken on the cooktop had been held beyond the four hour time limit. There was expired pesto sauce that was more than two and a half weeks old and expired bolognese that was 11 days old. Plus, lots of food in the temperature danger zone and small flies throughout the facility. Flour and barley was back to a zero demerit A grade on November 4th. We have a statement from them on our website, and there's one more imminent health hazard closure at repeat offender Sea Salt Oyster Bar. Head to KTNV.com for details. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.